I'm going to do a little exploratory surgery on this old Uniden Bearcat uh, receiver that I had all the way back since the early 90s. This is really old. It has a NICAD battery on it. And these Bearcats were useful for scanning police frequencies and listening to all kinds of things on the radio airwaves. And it would just run through the different frequencies as you scanned through different banks and numbers you would have programmed into it. Um, here in the back, I've got some common aviation frequency ranges on the UHF and in the VHF band and FM as well. And this device, um, you know, was great for a while, but it just doesn't work anymore. And the charging uh, of this battery doesn't work. So I'm going to give it a try, see if I can still power it up using this DC power supply here. But I'm also going to tear apart this NICAD battery and see if we can't save it and uh, maybe replace some of the cells in there, perhaps with some maybe uh, lithium ion batteries, uh, and then get this thing back to serviceability. So let's take a look. It's got here, looking at the way this matches up, the positive is on this uh, side here. So positive is towards the back and the negative is towards the front. I'm looking at right here, in the way that that plugs into here. And then this metal piece here, it looks like that's just a pressure, a little bit of a spring mount there to hold this in place so it doesn't come off. So with this thing not, not functioning at all, I'm just going to set it aside and then I'm going to try out my power supply. So let's see if we can get any measurements off of this. What was the power out, output of this? So on this thing, a nickel cadmium battery, 600 milliamps at 7.2 volts all right we'll see if we can enter this into this dc power supply turn this on go ahead and do some adjustments i'm going to turn this to 7.2 there's my volts and then i'll go ahead and go down and let's see that was 600 milliamps so i don't want six amps I'm going to go down 600 milliamps. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and power this up. I'm not drawing anything yet. And then remembering, let's see again. Yep, the positive goes towards the back. So I'm going to and clamp on my. I guess it's not going to clamp, so I'm going to have to just hold this in place. See if we can give it some power. And lo and behold, we are operating. And here's our weather function on this scanner. Also has a backlight display. That seems to be working. Hold the power on here. So it's good. We know that the system works here. And now I just got to get uh, another battery into this portion here. So let's see what it does. If we can open this up and get this working again. Let's see how this thing slides open. Looks like it just comes up like that. Some kind of clip holding it on the back side. See, we got two little tabs here. I don't want to break those. I'm just going to try to go a little twist. Yeah, there we go. All right, it looks like we did break one of them. Two little tabs here that if I would have known, you should push them back. I probably could have saved this one. But um, So we got one busted, but I'm just going to have to live with it. It's a little bit of corrosion here on this pad. Yeah, it looks like that's all falling apart there. 
get this stuff out of here. And now here's the battery pack. It's got a little controller board and several of these Sony or Sanyo batteries. Um, all together producing 7.2 volts. Hopefully we can find some of these and replace these cells. See if we can get this out. There we go. And I got more of that junk on the bottom there too. So we got two power lines. Probably soldered onto the battery cells there. Looks like this has six cells all connected to each other. Yeah, this is a very old, old device. I got this in 1991, I believe. Maybe even before then. But I know I had it in 91 because that's when I was learning how to fly and listening to radio calls using this Uniden thing to learn how the aviation speak was. Super helpful for learning how to be a pilot listening to the radio calls. There we go. Same with the positive. All right. So we get another replacement pack of cells in here and we're going to be good to go. So I went and ordered my replacement battery and I was looking for just the cells, but from this company here, it's called Battery Barn. They've got all kinds of replacement cells, but they've also got complete packs. So it saved me some work. They already sealed together. All of these six cells uh, have the uh, welded um, connection points here underneath this plastic and they just left me the the plus and the minus so all I'm gonna have to do is attach to here and then we're ready to go so a lot cheaper this way just got them already in a pack ready to go and didn't have to do much effort on that so pretty easy fix now for this scanner let's get this connected and see how it works All right, so I ended up soldering the uh, red wire on also because that little clip they provided really didn't work for me. So I've got two good connections here with my ground and my positive. Uh, let's get this bundled back up and check out, see how the radio works. That, and then I'm going to do a quick test. Just going to plug in the power supply and see if I get that red charging light and know that my connections are good and my battery is good. Here's my original power adapter. Moment of truth. All right, there we go. Got a charging light. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the rest of the housing. And then screw it back in on the bottom. And we'll let this charge for a little while and then put it on the receiver and see if we're in business. See if we got a working system here now. All right. Seventies. Chance of rain thirty percent. Well, there you go. So there you go. We've got a replacement battery all set now. This should be good for another twenty-five years. Uh, these NICADs do last for quite a while. Um, and then happy to get this uh, Uniden Bearcat scanner back in business uh, again uh, from throwback from the old days. Hey, I hope this video was helpful and hope this information was useful to you. And as always, hope you have a great day.